Hey YouTube, it's Journey with Yvette back with another video. Okay, this time I'm talking about a replica purse that I bought and it's uh, the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And I got an awesome deal on it and I really wanted to check it out because I like to do that before buying anyway, but the way the economy is and prices and stuff, it's kind of smart to do that if you're able to. So being someone who carries a planner, once I had this, and this purse is really nice. I mean, the it's excellent quality, um, has a zipper in the back, comes with the strap, long strap. And you could use this strap as like a crossbody strap. Inside, it has a pocket here, a big pocket here, and also a pocket back here. That being said, this is what happened when I used my Hope and Niji Weeks with my gallon leather cover. This was in here, and that's taking up all of my room. And Really, uh, usually I put my um, wallet back here. I'll show you. I use the Victorine wallet. FYI, if you're going to get this wallet, this is what happens to it. The button, um, it wears over time. So what you can do is put a clear coat of nail polish on it. But if you do that, that kind of voids any... Louis Vuitton taking care of your your wallet so it's kind of a catch-22 you know you put that on there it protects it but then if you really wanted it replaced you can't because you put that polish on it so I just didn't put the polish on it and it wears out and oh well anyway so I put that back here I always put that back here but I'm using my phone right now so the other thing we have my phone and my keys and as you see that's that's pretty packing it I mean it's a small person so what am I supposed to say you know what do you, what do you expect so what I did and my other Hobonichi the one I use for financial planning a lot better it's it's a thinner type of you know planner and I did thin out my other one, my other cover. So what happened is I said, well, I was using my my six ring agenda with for cards. Like I used it for various cards and stuff. I'll show you uh, on the back. So this was like, um, for cards, you know, slots and stuff like that. Uh, let's show you. This is like a little plastic card holder and you can put cards in it and stuff like that. And that's basically what I was doing. But now I was like, okay, I need to actually carry this agenda. <laughs> well, just let me tell you, if you are used to writing everything down in the Hobonichi weeks and then you resort to using a small six ring agenda, it, it doesn't go well. It, just, it doesn't go well at all. Um, so first off, since I, um, and this is a nice one, you know, I, I never really pay attention to the whole thing with the made in France. This one is made in France, but I know you can get stuff made in USA that's just it's fine and in other countries so I, I don't know but people like that you know I, I wasn't even looking at that when I bought it but um, it's an it's nice it's it's a nice little agenda and if you're someone who writes small and you don't mind um, you know tiny paper you know that's fine I had to actually get an insert some inserts for this and they're kind of wonky because it's like when you start you write on them it's like this is the back and it starts with the weeks and you're in the month and it's just like it's kind of kind of confusing um it did come with oh these are my filofaxes i i had leftover filofax papers and this louis vuitton just gave me this and I just keep a card thing in here so that the um, the six ring doesn't like make indents in the agenda. However, 
I am not someone who writes small and I need my fountain pens. So this is a very small pen that I found that fits into this ridiculously small <laughs> pen loop that I don't, I don't know what anyone is thinking about with this pen loop. Um, but when I write in it, I just don't like my handwriting in it. You know, I don't like how it looks. It's just not, not cute, but it does work so that if you're carrying a purse like this, it doesn't take up any room at all. You can stand it up and put it like this and put it back there and it's great. So that's what I resorted to because of this freaking purse. Um, I don't know. It's a nice purse. I, it, you know, it works on, well on the weekends. Um, when I'm not using it, I just fold up the strap inside like that. The only, uh, I would say two things that make it replica is that it's just a little too red here. That's my personal opinion here. And then like when you do this, it's sometimes a little annoying. But then I read on YouTube that that seems to happen with the other um, purses too. And I'm just like, why is that happening? Why why are you having a purse, Louis Vuitton, that's thousands of dollars and it's having issues? Like, why is that okay? Um, but for a planner people, if you're going to carry this, if you carry the Hobonichi, if you're using a gallon leather cover, you're taking up a lot of room. If you take it out of the cover and you just use, use the Hobonichi uh, weeks without it, it's not that bad. But I did resort to using the six ring agenda because it was smaller and it's something on the weekends I can carry and um, that's kind of how it went. But as for, I can't really do a review on a replica, but if you're looking for something this size, it's great. It's great. It's small. It's, you know, compact. You can just, you know, you can go shopping. That's like one of the best things about crossbody purse. You can keep it in front of you. So you don't have to worry about someone coming up behind you or something weird. Um, but it's crossbody. So you can go shopping. Say if you, <laughs> you're someone who goes to the racks, you know, Macy's or, or TJ Maxx or Marshall's. Um, it's it's right there with you you know you don't want to when you go shopping having a purse that's like kind of behind you or to the right of you where someone can pickpocket you or it's open you know so it, it's definitely good for that and I, I'd say it's a really decent nice looking um, accessory you know I definitely think so so but for like I said for planning people you know you might want to change the size of your agenda or, or use the plastic cover for your Hope and Ichi Weeks, you know, you might want to do that, you know, take stuff off so that it's not so bulky. And that way you're always carrying your planner, you know, and that's important because as planner world people, that's the world we live in. We like to keep things organized. Um, we like to always have our notes with us, our appointments. So, um, it's something to think about if you get a smaller purse. So just throwing that out there. But um, yeah, so this definitely worked with that. And um, I can carry the Hobonichi Weeks. It just takes up the whole purse. <laughs> you know, and that's just kind of how it goes. But um, that was just a quick video on this. If someone was interested out there and going downsizing on your purse and then carrying the hope in each week so just throwing that out there anyway um as always i wish you peace and love from journey with yvette and just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when i put up a next uh, another video and i'm trying to keep them um, cranking out for you all i love you all and i just feel like it's such a nice little family over here so tell everyone you know that we are truly uh loved on this channel so um, I wish you all the best until next time. Peace out.